Hey, what's up world? It's Austin. I'm here with another free theremin lesson. If we think about the main components that make up music, you got pitch and rhythm. Today, we're going to talk about pitch. With a the theremin, the pitch is controlled by the right hand. You're going to be playing the pitch antenna. So one thing about the pitch antenna is that the closer your hand gets to the antenna, the higher the note. And the farther you are away from the antenna, the lower the note. Today, this is a beginner lesson in pitch. It's basically your introduction to right hand technique for playing theremin. And what we're going to be doing is working on our octaves. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and grab your theremin, get it set up, get your headphones ready, and we'll start playing. So first of all, you'll need to tune your theremin, and I have a video that explains just how you do that. Basically, you're just going to adjust the pitch knob until you can make the note C with two different hand shapes without moving the rest of your body. You're going to want this to be a low C and a full extension to be the high C, one octave higher. I'm going to let the note C play for a little bit, which will give you a chance to tune your instrument. So go ahead and do that right now. In this pitch lesson, what we're going to work on are four octaves of C. The lowest C, the C one octave above, two octaves above, and three octaves above. And to hit these notes, we're going to work on three different transitions. One transition when your hand is in the fully closed state, from closest to your body to the next octave above. Then to the next octave by fully extending the fingers and then the transition to the next higher octave by bringing your hand closer. And then we're gonna reverse the process. So we're gonna bring it back, close our hand, and then bring it back close to our body. So in doing this exercise, we're gonna be able to hit four different octaves. Lowest, second lowest, second highest, and then the highest. And then we're gonna reverse that process. One thing you'll notice the way about some theremins are tuned, especially if you're using an Etherwave standard like I am, is that it exhibits non-linearity. And what that means is that when you're going from the lowest C to that first octave above, you have to move your body much farther than when you do from the second highest to the highest C. So, in other words, the distance between the low notes is much greater than the distance between the high notes. And this is something that you'll notice for many other instruments that are based on physics. So if you play violin, you know that the note between G and A on the very bottom of the G string is much farther apart compared to the G and A if you're one octave higher. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have this backing track that's going to be playing C at different octaves and laid over top of that will be a metronome. And you'll be able to hear clicks at different tempos. We're going to start out at 80 beats per minute, increase to 90, and then 100 beats per minute, but I'd encourage you to try tempos outside of this range. If 80 beats per minute is a little bit quick for you, grab your own metronome, set it to 70, and turn on the C tuning note. And what I want you to do is to take two beats to find the next octave. So you're going to start with your low C. Over the next two beats, you're going to want to try to move your hand until you hit the next octave above by the time the second beat comes in. And then from there, you got two more beats to try to extend to hit the next C, two more to go up to the highest octave, and then reverse the process, stepping back down every two beats. And I'm going to be playing alongside you, but you're not going to hear my instrument, you're just going to see my hands move. So you'll be able to have your own instrument playing over top of my metronome and my backing track. Okay, that's all we have for now. Let's go ahead and get started.
If you were able to play along with the tempo provided, and you got pretty close to pitch, congratulations, you made it to 100 beats per minute. To improve the technique a little bit, you can continue practicing these octaves, but just run them a little faster. Maybe think about doing 110, 120 beats per minute. As you notice, the faster you play, the quicker you need to make the transitions. This has been an introduction to right hand technique for playing theremin. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please make sure to subscribe for more free theremin lessons and to check out my covers as well as other musical content. Have a great day world and thank you for joining me today.